Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Michael Levan, and in this video, we're gonna take a look at how to get started with Nginx Ingress on Minikube, so right on a local cluster. Now, first things first, we're gonna have to install Minikube, and if you don't have Minikube installed, just go ahead and Google you know, Minikube install, and you'll see it for pretty much every operating system. So first things first, I'm gonna run Minikube start. As you can see, it's gonna yell at me because uh, I'm using an AMD64 binary on my uh, Mac M1, but it still works just fine. And as you can see, it's running version 1.25.1. All right, and as you can see, we are officially up. So first things first, let's go ahead and take a look at this deployment.yaml. Now, very basic, just running a stateless Nginx app, two replicas, it's using the uh, Nginx latest Docker image. And then I have a service here that it's setting up based on the deployment right up here. So it's going to set up the deployment itself and then it's gonna set up a service. But notice here how it is not using a load balancer or anything like that. So it's really just gonna have you know the, the node port at the end of the day. So let's go ahead and run this. kubectl apply minus f deployment.yaml. All right, and as we can see, the pods are running. We'll run a kubectl get service and we can confirm that the Nginx service is running type is a cluster IP. So it's just internal right now. So the networking is internal to Kubernetes. It is not public facing, hence there is no external IP address. So how can we kind of get this, you know, out in the wild for people? Well, this is kind of where ingress comes into play here. Now notice that for my host, I'm using localhost. the path. I'm just using the raw path. And then I'm going over port 8080 for my Nginx service, which is right here. Now really what Ingress is gonna do is it's gonna allow us to set up essentially multiple services like we did right here, but pointing to the same load balancer. So what we can do is we'll run kubectl create minus f ingress.yaml, right? And then we'll run kubectl get ingress. All right, so now we can see that Ingress is running successfully. So let's head over to a web browser really quick. All right, so I'm at my web browser here and I'm gonna type in localhost over port 8080. Okay, boom. Now notice our Nginx application is now successfully running over port 8080 because if we head over back to Visual Studio Code, we can see that we set it up over port 8080. Now, let's take a look at this. kubectl delete ingress, ingress Nginx service A. All right, we'll run kubectl get ingress for confirmation. As we can see, none are running. Let's head back over to the browser, let's refresh. And as we can see, our application is no longer up and running because the ingress is deleted. So if you wanna get started using ingress or learning about it, testing it out locally, you can absolutely do that right on Minikube. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it, and we'll see you again next time.